to my weekly video blog. Um, <clears throat> first, uh, let me um, let me continue from where I left off last week. Um, as you know, uh, I'm doing I'm I'm making major changes um, in order to uh, help my health, basically. Uh, one such change um, has been uh, to do with um, food and one uh, has been to do with sleep, in fact. I do tend to go to sleep quite late and wake up right, uh, quite early um, and I find that I'm always quite tired and I think some of it does have to do with the fact that, you know, I'm getting... Uh, about six hours sleep a night and I don't know how much of that is disturbed um, uh, so I'm trying to up that slightly um, you know I'm never going to be one of these people who was in bed before 10 it's just not going to happen um, but I am trying to now uh, get to bed earlier we're talking you know between 10 and 11 rather than you know just after midnight or whatever um, I do think that I've made considerable uh, improvements um, over time with that. You know, there was a time when I got, you know, five or less hours sleep a night and my timetable for sleep, my sleeping patterns were messed up. Uh, and part of that was deliberate to make sure that I was awake at the time when the Americas uh, were awake and the forums online were most active. I don't do that anymore, and half of that is because the forums aren't quite as active. So it doesn't really matter if I'm awake then or not. Um, so I do feel that I've made major changes there already. But what I'm trying to do is uh, get more sleep during the week, but less sleep during the weekend, because I tend to crash. And, um, you know, some of those crashes, again, they're better now than they were. When I was messing around with the sleeping patterns, my crashes used to be 13, 14, 15 hours sometimes over a weekend. Uh, not healthy. That is not healthy. And I feel it now if I have uh, a crash that's over 12 hours. So I'm trying to limit my crashes to 10 hours maximum um, over a weekend. Uh, so those are the sleeping changes, pattern changes that I'm making. Um, in terms of the, uh, the food... You know, um, I'm going back to uh, my porridge in the morning uh, for breakfast rather than, uh, you know, uh, cheese, or bit, cheese and biscuits was a, a favourite, um, as was, you know, uh, fry-up. Um, not doing that anymore. The Saturday fry-up, is, which is the mainstay of that, um, has gone. So we're not doing that anymore. Um, I've cut certain things out of my diet altogether. Butter and margarine um, are just going. I'm not, not doing that. Um, I'm pretty much cutting bread out of my diet as well. Although I have to say that those are things that have, I've been working on for quite some time. And I do think that those have been, you know, beneficial. Um, with the exception of having rolls on a Sunday morning, uh, which I refuse to give up. <laughs> um, what else? That perhaps the major, major point is that I'm also cutting uh, the coke. Um, and on an evening, rather than having like, um, you know, uh, I don't know, a quiche or something like that, I'm lowering the portion. So I, a quiche, instead of lasting me one day, now lasts me two. But I'm adding uh, vegetables with that. Um, now, fresh vegetables are just too expensive. They really are. Um, I, I have minimal fresh vegetables, although I do have some because I have to feed the birds um, fresh vegetables as well. Uh, tinned is just not very healthy, so I'm going for frozen um, in that respect. Uh, and did I say coke? Well, if I didn't, um, I'm cutting the coke out um, as well, with the exception of uh, the cinema trip, uh, which is once a month, and the uh, takeaway of the month. And I'm limiting that to um, the takeaway of the month as well, because I uh, had a habit of 
and expanding that a little, uh, like sort of every Friday. <laughs> um, and then some. So we're cutting out the Friday night uh, takeaway. Um, we're going back to just one uh, takeaway a month. And um, we're cutting out uh, the other stuff, which was um, over the weekend, often I don't have the right amount of food in. Uh, and so when I run out, I tend to eat on the hop. And I, those are not takeaways. They are more like um, going to, uh, you know, the town bakeries um, and stuff like that, uh, which is a waste of money for a start. Um, so we're cutting that as well. Uh, in the afternoons, um, I am at the moment just on my oat cakes, which I've been on for quite some time. Now, the idea will be that this will run uh, as is until May, and then we'll move on from May, because in May, uh, I'm going to lose the cooked dinner at lunch, um, and I'm going to uh, replace that with just soup. Um, and in the afternoon, I want to try and replace the... Uh, um, the oat cakes with fruit instead, um, or, or mix it up so that I can have both. Um, so it's it's I'm just sort of trying basically. Um, <laughs> but there we are. Well, well, that's all we can do. In terms of springboard, you know, I have uh, a major major opportunity uh, on the horizon for that. Um, I don't know whether I will get anywhere with it. It is a it is a possibility. I think it is a possibility, um, but whether it matures or not, I don't know. Uh, it, it's quite um, you know there are a, so there are certain signs that seem to be uh, aligning uh, for it to be a, a possibility, um, but uh, I'm not going to go into them at the moment, uh, and I won't be able to tell you uh, what goes on with that until after Easter. Easter, of course, is only uh, two weeks away. The holidays, the Easter holidays for the for the children, probably already started. Um, so we're not too far away from that. Although I have to say that Easter is late. Um, the other things to say are uh, updates on the uh, allotment. I haven't been down there in a while, but I do understand that the digging in of the uh, green manure has has happened now and that I think the potatoes are waiting to go in and I think the onions uh, are now in. Um, as soon as I can get back down there again, which won't be tomorrow because uh, tomorrow is, is cancelled in, in that respect, um, I'll let you know. Update on the Pulver House of Birds Avery, specifically the breeding, uh, proje uh, the breeding project for, for the contingent. The uh, the old pairs are breeding, but the new pairs are not. Um, so Damasio and um, Brinsa are not breeding. Uh, neither are Samuel and Binky. I hope they will eventually. Uh, the societies are not breeding either. The owl finches are not breeding, um, <clears throat> and the doves. Uh, are not laying eggs. The quail haven't started laying eggs either yet. I'm hoping that happens soon. Uh, the contingent have swapped partners from last time. So last time it was Flo and Lammas, it was Eric and Beverly, and it was Martin and Beryl. Uh, and they all did reasonably well. This year they've swapped round. Martin, uh, sorry, um, now let's get this right. Martin is now with Flo, Lammas is now with Beverly, uh, which leaves uh, Eric and whoever else is left. I can't remember. Um, sorry, uh, Lammas is... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Which must leave Eric and Beryl, I presume. Yes, I think so. Something like that. More Martin and Beryl. And Eric and, and, Eric and uh, Flo. I can't remember, but basically they've all swapped round, which is a bit bizarre. They all have eggs so far, but only one egg has hatched, and that was to Beryl. Unfortunately, uh, Beryl then decided to reline the nest for no good reason, uh, buried her young and her eggs, and I only just got there in time. 
um, and the, the baby was being ignored. So I moved the baby and I put it in with an adoptive parent. I put it in with uh, Beverly. And um, the interesting thing is that last time I did that uh, was with um, Nisa and Levon. When they uh, ignored their baby, I put it in with um, Bonnie and Pettis. It was too late for that little one. He was too cold and he died. But uh, Beverly seems to have wakened him up and warmed him up and he's now wriggling and moving around again and I think that Lamas is feeding him. Uh, so that's a good sign there and we're now waiting for the rest of the eggs to hatch. There has been a death this uh, week. That is the silver bill. Vaughan, uh, the silver wax bill, has died. He was flightless uh, because he went into some sort of fight, lost all his tail feathers, couldn't fly, and so he was out in the flight permanently until his feathers grew back. And he was sheltering under a quail. I got woken up uh, early in the morning uh, to one of the quails in great dis distress. Poor Karen Quail had accidentally overnight smothered the uh, the silver bill and then discovered what she was she had done and was horrified. Um, so uh, manslaughter, but not murder. Not like Beverly and um, Tracy. <laughs> that was murder. Uh, so there we are. Um, hopefully everything goes okay. Uh, we're back online now in terms of uh, keeping up to date with videos and stuff like that. So uh, all that is left is the birthdays for this week. So this week's birthdays, <clears throat> a very happy birthday to all the following. We've got Dan Downs, uh, Stuart Nicol, Richard Hastings, Rolando Perez, uh, Michelle Fisher. Really? Really? I thought her birthday was later. Hmm. I think that's a bit suspect, but there we are. Uh, Matt Penny's birthday as well. Uh, Maggie White. Um, we miss Maggie. We, we miss Maggie White. Mm, try saying that quickly. Uh, ben Saunders. Uh, Marek Sobeski. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, and uh, Carrie Nash as well. So, um, happy birthday to all of them. I hope they eat lots of cake. Um, and, uh, and yes, that is birthdays for this week. I don't think we have any uh, fighters down for this week either. Uh, no. A few suggestions of what I might go to. Although I have to say that Facebook is just absolutely random in stuff it does like that. Do you know, I'm so behind, I haven't even turned over the, the calendar for April yet. Oh, hang on. I might have somebody for April. Shall we have a look? But I think it might be... Oh, but I think I might have missed it. I think it might have been last week. Um, hmm. According to this, Ricardo Franco. No idea if that's still happening or happened. Uh, I've got it written in today. Um, so, there we are. Uh, and that's it for this week.